Answering this next hour, Larry, thanks. We begin tonight with the breaking news and a chilling bottom line. $1.2 trillion. That is how much investors, including any of you with stocks in a retirement plan, lost today. Take a look. That's what it looks like. $1.2 trillion. Gone in just six and a half hours. The stock market losing $3 billion a minute today. The, the biggest dollar losses, the biggest point drop ever, 778 points, and the worst percent decline since the markets reopened after 9-11. Now, right now, we're watching markets around the world react. Asian markets have plunged down tonight. We'll continue to follow that. Tonight, politicians, Republicans and Democrats, well, they're pointing fingers at each other. They're fiddling while your money burns. The financial rescue package devised by the administration, revised by Democratic and Republican leaders over the weekend, failed to pass the House. You know that. Two-thirds of House Democrats voted yes, and about two-thirds of Republicans voted no. Tonight, we'll tell you what happened and what happens now. It is your money, your vote. We begin with Jessica Yellen. It all broke down so quickly when the bipartisan bailout turned into a political brawl. 67% of the Republican conference decided to put political ideology ahead of the best interests of our great nation. I think that this is a case of a failure of Speaker Pelosi to listen not only to her members, but certainly to our members. How did this go so wrong? When the debate began this morning, the so-called financial rescue legislation was a bitter pill. Even those who supported it were reluctant. This will be the most difficult decision I make in my 16 years in this body. And I've, I've decided that the cost of not acting outweighs the cost of acting. None of us came here to have to vote uh, for this, uh, this mud sandwich. I could describe it a lot of different ways. You all know how awful it is. I didn't come here to do this. Members would rather not be here because this is a tough vote. When the clock started, Republican leaders were not sure they had enough votes, but they gambled, believing the pressure would pull their members along. They were wrong. We did think we had a dozen more votes going to the floor than we had. No more than that, but we thought we had a dozen more. After the meltdown, the Republicans said Speaker Pelosi was to blame for making these comments. They claim to be free market advocates when it's really an anything goes mentality. No regulation. No supervision, no discipline. Their charge? Right here is the reason I believe why this vote failed. And this is Speaker Pelosi's speech uh, that, frankly, struck the tone of partisanship that, frankly, was inappropriate in this discussion. Democrats call that ridiculous. There were 12 Republican members who were ready to stand up for the economic interests of America, but not if anybody insulted them. I'll make, a, I'll make an offer. Give me those 12 people's names and I will go talk uncharacteristically nicely to them <laughs> and tell them what wonderful people they are and maybe they'll now think about the country. Those were about the only laughs today on Capitol Hill. Now leaders are trying to figure out how to rescue the bill when they return on Thursday. Jessica, you say when they return on Thursday, so they have left town? They have. Uh, they're on what's called a recess. You would think of it as a break for the Jewish holidays. It's, I mean, it's kind of unbelievable that the market tanks like this and they are gone. Well, this is how it works. They knew, they thought that deadline would actually force people to vote yes. The Senate is still in business tomorrow, but they don't expect the Senate to go first. So we got to wait. So did they know that the Dow was tanking as they were voting? Yes. There were members running back and forth on the floor saying it's fallen 200, it's fallen 300. What we're told is some of them were very surprised by the speed at which it fell. Uh, but they were aware of what was happening as they voted. And, and finally, they said, you know, that uh, 12 members or so uh, were so offended by Nancy Pelosi's comments that, that they switched their vote. Have they named names? Oh, no. They won't tell us those names. And believe me, we have asked. What they're telling us is that there were a number of people, roughly a dozen, who were feeling that they could vote yes, but were upset by the partisan tone, what they call the partisan tone of the debate, the way the Democrats have been describing this in public. And they weren't sure they could bring them along. And because they say Pelosi got partisan, that really did it in. Uh, but it really does seem that even because they're admitting that they didn't even know if they had the votes to go in when they were going in, uh, it really does seem a stretch to believe that a couple comments by Nancy Pelosi made them vote against the biggest bailout in history. Uh, amazing. Jessica Yellen, thanks. It is a tough vote, as Jessica said. Members and staffers.